Okay. This game seemed all spooky. This cold and rainy day, you are knitting on the couch while Papa packs his things. Tonight he needs to go to work in order to teach a night class. As Lily is a good child, Papa trusts you to stay safe while he's gone. Before he leaves, Papa makes hot dogs in the box of mac and cheese. He helps you pour the cheese sauce on your hot dog in order to make it taste better. You enjoy your meal together, ignorant of future events. Papa puts you to bed with the sounds of rain lulling you to sleep. Help! Someone! Oh! You awaken to the sound of a voice. Eh. Eh. Lily! The voice seems to come from outside. You look out your bedside window. Nobody. There's nobody among the rain and darkness. Was it a dream? You open your window a crack to listen closer. Please. Wait. Please. It hurts. Help. The well. Someone is in the well. The rope normally hanging from it has vanished. You are a good girl, so you get out of bed to go help. Let's read instructions. The well. After collecting at least one piece of rope material, Lily can climb down into the well. The material quality and length affect the overall result of the descent. Bad materials will cause the rope to break. Note, once Lily goes down the well, there is no going back. I'm sure I can figure out the rest. Got it. Okay, I have to click to move around. The best of comfort by the stormy weather. Helping the arm ball is, it could probably be unraveled into a lot of rope. Well, there is rope. Yes. That's probably gonna break. That's probably an ending. This game probably has multiple endings. That's the exit. Where is the well? Purple. Magnificent well. The source of the forest, all that we heard now is the echoes of the river. So they're dead. I have to struck a rope. Yep. Can't use it to descend. Or to click. Okay. Uh, oh, it's, it's breaking. I knew it. Your rope is creaking. Something is very wrong. The game didn't even finish its own sentence. Click. Uh oh. Oh! Oh, it took a while to hit the bottom. That's what that was. Oh, it's a deep well. It's a deep, deep well. As you fell, you were lucky to land head first, killing you instantly. Your body lays in a contorted and unnatural state as it waits for the maggots to settle in. Whoa. Alternate end one. Bad craftsmanship. Yeah, tip. Rocks can be placed back in the same area where they're found if the speed penalty is too much. Skip the intro? Yes. Okay. So I'm sure there's something there. Alright. Take the lamp. Plugged in. Okay. Bed. Bed. It's 
my bed. Take. Um, uh, remove your pop of route back one weekend. Your prisoners use sheets to escape from prison. Take the sheets of route. Yes. That one could work. Door. Sink. Take the sink. No, I hit. I did look. Is the bathroom sink preventer of disease spread and assistant to teeth cleaning? Take. If you manage to take this, it'd be very impressive. There's a fresh roll of toilet paper. Take. We're gonna have really, really twisted up toilet paper as rope. Pump it back. Tape. I take the sheets off, but it seems it's attached to the mattress somehow. Maybe there were never actual seat sheets, and the bare mattress just looks like this. Uh oh. So that's just gonna stay there now. These are the doors to the pantry. Look. My only pop is allowed in there. That's gonna be something. Just take the door. Just take the door. Oh. What are these? Couch says the door. Take. Oh, you can't take the couch. You can see if you can take something from underneath it. Looks you don't see if there's anything. Good to take, yes. In your search, you found your knitting needles. Yes. Um. Ah, so that's what that does. V6. I'm level 6. Stuff, ropes, keys, phone, stuff. Knitting needles, use. You can probably knit the yarn you have into a stronger rope. Yes. That's, a, that's an actual rope. Take it. And it's useful as an actual rope. Repeat it's tied tightly with a bowline knot. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. It's this way. Oh. There's a pretty big rock. Take! I'm gonna be heavy. Yes. The way to the rock slows are moving. Oh. Check the mailbox. Yes, no mail today. Put the unwanted rope parts. Yes. No, we're keeping the bed sheets. We're keeping that toilet paper. Yes, that's that's definitely gonna break, but that's gonna ruin my whole rope. You know, we already have the ending for the break. I thought we were gonna die. Billy. <laughs> Rex, they're just showing up and that's another rock. Okay. That's another rock. There's a cave entrance down the stream. The rain's causing this trip to move fast, make it too big. Rocks! Take the stream! Okay. Wait a minute. Stuff. Rock. Use rock. Ah, I'm building a this chain serves a handrail for the bridge. Take the chain. The good rope is welded. Well, I assume there's probably different endings for different amounts of rope. So we'll just go with the rope that we currently have. This is the source of the voice. So if you wish to save the person, you don't need the rope. These are currently hold two pieces of possible rope. Tie them together and begin to set. Yes.
Okay, so I gotta click to move. Let's keep going. The rope has come to an end. The way down seems endless. No voices could be heard. Just the sound of your breathing and the rain falling from above. It mixes with your sweat, making your hands uncomfortable. You decide to give up and climb back up. The task is much more difficult than lowering yourself down. The pain in your hands and moisture in the air create a combination. Oh. You lose your grip and fall. Now, we gotta wait like two minutes, of course. It's a deep well. Oh! Oh, that's a... Oh. Hey, Lily! You doing okay? Th that is a dead end. Do you have anything else to say? Eight. Eight is probably important. Is that a phone number? There was a phone. Okay. What if we just do one rope? Let's just do one rope. So oh, I have to do I have to go around and then do tape. Clicking on the that was odd. Probably knit the yarn. Let's go with one rope. We gotta get all the endings. If each ending has a number of a phone call, let's go. I won't go. That's new. Maybe it does blend in with the path. Look at what it Two flowers are growing here together. Looking at this makes your palms sweat for some reason. Oh, there's a flower for each ending. Okay, you don't really want to be around this plant for some reason. Okay, every different way we die causes a plant to grow. That's how we can track the endings. We can store a rope. Let's descend with our singular rope. Oh, wait, 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 come on. Is this gonna be the same? The rope's coming in, the way that's doing this. The voice over here. What's the sound of your own breathing? What is that sound? It sounds like. Oh. Don't. Don't do it. Uh, it. Something tells me they cut the rope. And we get this again. Of course that's a dead end. Two. We have eight and two. If a bad rope material is picked up, it will automatically be used when descending the well. That's why you can throw it away. Okay. This is gonna be. This is it. This is the. This is the run. Let's get the. Take the. Take the bed sheets. Take the sheets as rope. Let's go out. But I think we have to look at the back. Take. Yes. Take the knitting need needles. Head back here. A letter addressed to Papa. Read it. Yes, dear Tony. I hope this letter finds you well. I'm writing to to you from Mother's home as she required extra help regarding the pig farm. 
She's personally doing well and has asked about you and Lily. Mother is especially curious about your progress on your research progress. When Mother heard that you were pursuing her specialty, she was delighted to see how you would do. Please write to her and possibly send samples. I only expect to stay on the farm for the next year or so before returning to Maine. With your permission, I'd like to visit your home on the way. Thank you for your time. Vic. That could be his brother. We have the shed key, not the pantry key. So, for ropes, we got sheets, ball of yarn. Oh yeah, I gotta press that. That's what's causing the problem. So, let's see. There's rope. Oh, wait. Yeah, is that another new flower? A singular flower is growing here. One, two, okay, so the number of flowers is how many rope pieces you use to get that in. It's this way. Look at this one makes your legs ache for some reason. Yeah, there was a bone sticking out of the legs. Rock. What's this? Oh, is this like a greenhouse? Flowers. Sprouts are peeking out of the soil. Thanks to the rain, these should be growing into beautiful flowers one day. Take. It isn't right to take something that isn't done growing. Maybe at some point they'll be done growing. Just garden shears. Yes. What's this? Oh, we have the shed key. Spare extension cord on the floor. That's a rope. Don't care about the other stuff yet. Are we gonna trip all the shears? Is that just like a thing that can happen? Because it said children and scissors don't mix. Okay. It's the source of the voice. Three pieces of possible rope. Let's begin our descent. Oh! Lantern. The rope has come to an end. The way down seems endless. Ah, the nearby lamp turned on by itself. Such a thing could be helpful right now. You reach over to take the light off the hook. Don't let go of the rope. A terrible decision, really. How would you even climb up with the lamp? Lily, that, that one was your doing, for sure. You, you, you kind of deserve that one. You kind of deserve that one. I mean, you also kind of deserve these from just climbing into the well. Like, if you know it's that deep, if you don't, then it's fine. Three. We had eight, two, three. I'll have to review the footage. When you try to pick good and bad rope, it's possible to keep testing singular parts and seeing how they affect Lily in the well. Skip the intro, yes. Get through all this. Take the ball of yarn. Wait, we need the bed sheets. Take. Yep. Take. 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 Shed key. The fridge towers up. Look. The drawings cover the fridge. Take the fridge. I cannot take the fridge. What's it say? Take. Oh, wait, what, what did it say? This kind of scenarios recommend taking everything but the kitchen sink for a reason. It's the stove. It also has an oven. Take it. You try to pull at the stove with all your strength, but it seems like a nine-year-old child cannot lift a gas stove that was manufactured in 1975. 
So it's acknowledging the fact that I'm just trying to grab these things. Uh, we need to go to noodles. Three! Three flowers are growing together. Look, this one seems to be reaching for the lamp near the house. Rookie mistake. Yeah. Now that's welded up. I don't think we could cut that off with the shears. But we have bolt cutters. What's this? An old broken web weed whacker has left a rust of the core. Take it. It's really nothing more than dead weight. It's a bag of mulch. Take it. Too smelly. Extension cord. Take it. You look good. I'm not gonna get the shears yet. Should take. That's welded. Well, that's why we have bolt cutters for chains lining the bridge to make for a good rope. Cut and take the chains for climbing. Yes. Go. The chain. You took the chain. How many ropes do we have? One, two, three. One, two, three. Ah, four. That's where the new rope is. Four. That's a new number. What's ending number four? How's Lily gonna die this time? I feel like these are eventually gonna get really creepy and spooky and scary with what happens as we get more and more endings. Past the lantern. Oh. Oh. That shouldn't be in a well. Are we getting water from the well? We shouldn't get water from this well. But the rope has come to an end. The way down seems endless, but seems to be another tunnel you can reach. Perhaps this is where the voice was coming from. Are they, are they cutting the rope? That was the same. Go, Lily. Explore the sewers. Sealed lake outside, you are suspended high in the air looking down upon it. The weather has caused waves to crash violently against the rocky shore below. Your body is washed out of the drainage pipes into the lake. Before hitting the water, your face makes direct contact with the rocks below. Ooh. Oh, the face made direct contact with the... Oh, the... Oh. Oh. Oh, Lord. Not even Papa would recognize you now. Those are, like, perfectly cut out. I don't think that's what a rock can do. Oh, my. I mean, not a blood stain on the over... A dead end. Rock to be placed back in the same way. Now we gotta go for five ropes. Go there. Take the bed. Take the sheets. Go back here. Take. Take. Yes. yes. Go back here. Push once. Push twice. One, two, climb, shed. This way. What's where's the new flower? Ah, 
Four flowers are growing here together. Look, the rain is drowning the flowers. Take. It's a pretty heavy tool. Yeah. And this extension cord. That's a take. What's this? It's a memorial for someone in a language you don't understand. Take it. Okay, I can't. We go to these. So let's go to that over this stuff. Stuff. Bolt cutters. We bolt cutters. Take the chains. Little needles. Use little needles. Make the ball of yarn. It's now in terms of ropes. We have four. the book is on the rope, but it just results in the rope getting squished. How to figure the difference between metal and rope. Bush. 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 Nothing in bush. Die. I've already collected so many ropes. Let's just uh, take this rock. And then I gotta get the shears. the shears. Right, take. Children and large scissors usually don't mix. Hopefully there isn't an alternate ending where you could just randomly trip and die. Look at that. We got one, we got one rock. that last rock but there's a scary there so we're fine did not die did not I did not die to the eyes in the forest. Go here, Lily. Good. Now stuff, stuff, rock, use rock. Put the rock in the water. She's she Let's go there now. Yeah. What's this? A net protects a group of small underwater plants. The net is made of thick fishing wire. What? I was expecting that to be a pitfall. A knife with a string blade hanging on the wall. Take it! It doesn't belong to me. 
I'm taking the knife. A worn birthday card. Read it. The front of the card is a picture of a black rabbit holding a flower. It reads, Happy One Year of Being Here. On the inside is a picture of even more black rabbits holding flowers. It reads, Happy First Birthday, Lily. July 20th, 1985. You've grown so much in just a year. Never forget that you're surrounded by people who love you. With love, Auntie... Matthew. Okay, so that's what's really walk on. So, like, I, I still don't have a fifth rope. I could get the tire swing. Take. Okay, cannot take the knife. So we got a knife. Doing all that got us a knife. Let's go use the knife. A knife won't help you. I think a knife can cut a rope. Just saying. Knife can definitely cut a rope. The rope holds strong, but the shears can cut them. Take the tire swing rope. And then we got five ropes. Something tells me that's because I took the knife. Our descent, and we'll get back to all that creepy stuff later. With a future Lily. This Lily, we get to see how they die when there's five pieces of rope. We go past the drainage pipe, a window. Huh. The rope has come to an end. The way down seems endless, but a darkened window juts out from the side of the well's wall. It's slightly open, you swing close to take a peek, but you overshoot it and tumble into the pitch black room. Oh, I thought we fell down the well. It seems like you landed on something soft. You try to feel around to get a sense of your surroundings. What the... Lily? Papa? Where? I thought... It's okay, Lily. You just had a bad dream. Well, you went to work, and then there's a, a voice, a voice, a kind of voice. Uh, it came well. It was well, like at the end of the year. The voice sounded like she was in trouble, or like a saver. Now, Lily, if you're in a dream, you need to remember what Papa tells you that you weren't there. Lily, you were close to see the Papa, and you want to use the Especially when you hear voices from outside, that's how bad get kicked after eating. Will you remember that, Lily? Yes, Papa. Will you? Will you remember it down to your soul? Yes, Papa. Good girl. Good night, Lily. Good night, Papa. And your Papa's watch you quietly go back to sleep. His words ring through your head as you lose consciousness. His words ring through your head as you lose consciousness. His words ring through your head as you lose consciousness. Oh! Well, Father, suffocated us. Four. Tip, when determining between good and bad rope, it's possible to keep testing. Yeah, we've already seen that one. We've already, we've already seen that tip. Just skip the intro. Yeah, but you know, we're just gonna go see what all that fog was about. But first, let's go, let's go look at the flower. Five flowers are growing here together. It looks like someone crushed the flowers at some point. Ah. Well, we're gonna do the... Wait a minute. The rock? 
rocks are still here. With the flowers appearing between, but the rocks staying. Is this not like a is this not replay? Is this just different lilies, but in the same world? Like, did the previous lily actually exist in this lily's timeline? This is just a new lily. Something watching through the darkness. Yeah, I know. There's something watching through the darkness. Yeah. You know what I do to stop watching through the darkness? I use knife. A knife won't help you here. Serious? Fine, growing along the tree. Take. Cut it down. You stab it to the vine, but the knife isn't really effective for plant management. Okay. Set the watcher for the darkness. Now that I've used the knife to clear the evil fall? No. What if I... Knife! here. Let's read some books. Book of local plant life in your area. That might be important for the vines. Like it might be like, like we can cut down all the vines, but one of them is good, the other ones will kill you. Which section would you like to read? Introduction. Greetings and thank you for picking up my guide to, for the special flora located in Bethany's Mirror, Vermont. Uh, Creepy Well Fathers. Classic Vermont. I am Magus Bergamot, a resident of the Bethany's Mirror area since childhood. I have spent my years studying the various unique plants that only grow in this pocket of the world. Many of these plants take on unique and unexpected roles in our ecosystems, as well as provide plenty of uses for local foragers. Like with any plant or fungal life, it's important to properly identify anything you are foraging. Failure to do so could lead to extreme injury or death. It is additionally important to not violate anyone's personal territory while foraging. An angry resident of Bethany's Mirror is far wor worse than a moose. With all of that out of the way, let's take a look at the most common specimens we'll find in this area. Trees. The majority of the trees found in Bethany's Mirror are the same as those of the surrounding areas. Plenty of oak, maple, and pine to go around. The most, the most common of the area's more unusual trees is the Nymph Mimic. It will appear as a normal birch tree, but with a female humanoid figure jutting out of the trunk. Despite, appearance, uh, despite appearances, this isn't an actual nymph, but a soulless tree. These trees seem to form from the souls of women who get lost in the woods or have their corpses dumped in the woods after being killed. Then these are common? I, I don't think I'm gonna go to Vermont. Their souls leave an imprint of sorts on a tree, and Bethany's mirror causes it to swell with the body's shape. They sap these protrusions, can be harvested, and made into nymph syrup. Keep reading. Another commonly seen tree that's exclusive to this area is the tomb tree. While harmless towards humanoids in most cases, this tree can pose a risk to small children and pets. The tomb tree appears as a dead and hollow oak tree, usually in the center of a clearing. Have we seen one of those? For most small animals that come across it may be interested in making a home out of the tree's many tunnels. This is actually a trap. Thanks to the tomb tree's lack of leaves, it instead gets nutrients by digesting the animals that get stuck in the tar-like sap it secretes inside its tunnels. The death of these animals is slow and full of suffering. 
Instead of dying of their flesh being digested, they often die of dehydration or starvation first. If something or someone you care about gets stuck in this tree's sap, common store-bought dish soap is enough to disconnect skin from the sap. The vines. The vine plants are about these mirrors could be some of the most dangerous and most useful. Okay, so these are the vines that we saw earlier. Do any of them have eyes? When looking for forged materials, the most dangerous vine to stay away from is the overcast vamp vine. This vine can be by bright purple suction cup-like leaves that only open rainy or overcast nights. It is raining. Touching these leaves will cause the vine to grab its new prey and attach as many suction cups as possible to the victim's skin. It will then use the suction cup to rip the victim's skin open. It's... Oh. Now let's keep reading, Lily. This is great stuff. Another vine of potatoes, the Wool Ripper. Oh, despite the name, does not actually rip out wounds. But it's dangerous, still cannot be underestimated. The Wool is only dangerous to those who eat the bright red berries off its vines. Touching or squashing the berries appears to be harmless. After being consumed, the berries will latch onto the inner linings of the new host's stomach and intestines. Like a tapeworm, the seeds inside the berries will steal nutrients from the host before eventually sprouting. Sensing the sun outside of the body, the nucleus will violently burst out of the host's organs, likely leaving those to bleed out. And the new vines to grow on the nearest tree or other large object. The body will be used by the Wolf River as extra food throughout its life. Luckily, the Wolf River vine becomes very brittle shortly after separating it from its root. This makes it easy to incinerate. I keep reading. One vine that's most dangerous and useful is known as Orderly's Punishment. It's found in shady areas along tall trees or those with blue thorns. Take extra care not to get pricked by these thorns as they will inject an intense hallucinogen that will last around 12 hours. On average, they will additionally cause an intense itchy sensation on the victim's inner organ. By removing these thorns though, this vine can be used as a very helpful building material. It's capable of holding an average of 460 pounds of weight and after being dried out. That's a rope. That's a rope. There's more. The suffering from joint pains. You have to look for the flower of Icarus. This yellow flowering vine grows swiftly in the rain and thrives in deep wooded areas. By looking the pollen off the flowers once a day, humanoid joints will begin to repair themselves. It is, however, very important to not take the vine itself or pick the flowers. After being removed from where it originally planted its roots, the plant will quickly start growing micro-fractures, causing it to be easily destroyed after very little amounts of pressure. So that's not a rope. That is not a rope. Root vegetables. Going around Bethany's mirror, there are plenty of root vegetables that can be found only here. To the area's creation and the impact on the outside has on it. The dwarf and river can be found by paved roads near area's border. Despite its name, it is not in the Mandragora genus, rather the Dawkins genus. They, they appear as inch-wide clusters of white flowers that grow at the side of the road. Picking them will reveal a purple root vegetable in the shape of a human baby. These vegetables range from 3 to 5 inches tall, then cause mild stomach discomfort of eating raw, but boiling them kills the toxin that causes this. Dwarf Madragora is best served with melted cheese and beef. The rest of this section's page just seem to have been cut out with scissors in order to keep the recipes. So the one with blue thorns, we have to dethorn it. So are these the those are yellow, though. Okay. This is probably the one with the blue thorns. Let's look. Vice cover is sharp blue thorns. Okay. Take. Trying to press up the trees with bare hands would result in bleeding and the inability to touch anything. Without paying for a long time, it's probably better to cut it down. No. But we have knife. Use knife! Lily, use knife! Okay, you have anything to say about this? No? Okay. Okay.
Let's say we get one more ending. And I don't call it. There's not time to be playing in the road. Now I'm gonna play in the road. I'm gonna get hit by a car. You cannot stop me. Oh, do we have any mail? There's a letter with a coffee box stain. This is definitely different. Read it. Dear residents of Bethany Mirror, there was a recent case of multiple outsider vehicles making onto the roads of our community. Investigators determined they were not students of our local college, instead ordinary Vermont residents. The majority of them have been directed to the outside world without issue, but some have fallen prey to our local wildlife. If you see an unknown vehicle without a mirror charm in the rear view mirror window, please redirect them to the main road. Mirror Council. Check the mailbox? Okay, it's the same. this? What is it? Arch pink flowers are grown. Take. Papa made this garden for mother. You can't bring yourself to mess with the plants in here. Don't really understand. The nerves lock up with the mere thought. Okay. Let's start grabbing stuff. Shears, the vine might be able to serve as a possible rope. Cut and take the blue thorned vine for climbing. Carefully cut down the vine and use the shears to trim down the thorns. Okay. Good. The other ones were not suitable. Now we're gonna need to get the yarn. We, did, we don't have the yarn yet. Take the chains. So let's see, stuff, ropes. We have one, two. Those have thorns. There's painful thorns. Possible. Do, do we have to remove the thorns? I'll, I'll look into that. One, two, three, four. Got it. So we're gonna need to get bed sheets and that. And maybe I keep doing that sometimes. Maybe I can use knife. I took all the chain, creating a new safety hazard. Yeah, I wanted to use knife. So use the knife. The knife won't help you. Shears. There's anything to shear here. I, I, I really hope we don't just die because we didn't remove the thorns. I still don't know what that fog was. Wait a minute. I, 
opened the shed without the key. So it's just unlocked. Is it unlocked by the previous lilies? Oh, maybe this is the eleventh lily. We started at six. So that meant there had to have been lilies before. Interesting. I, I think I'm, I think that's what this is trying to get at. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. That needs to be knitting needles. Okay. We're looking good. We're looking good. Go, Lily. So like, now that we've gotten past the first few levels, we're getting something interesting and increasingly crazy, you know, especially with this window, you know, every time. So what do we have next? The rope is completed. This is the last room. What a strange room. I see the well keeps go. Okay. That confirms that the, we're, we're definitely dealing with multiple lilies. Look close to the iron pile in the corner. Lily, what do you see, Lily? Lily, come on. Oh. <laughs> it's a corpse covered in maggots. Do you know what maggots are, Lily? You've learned about them before. They are baby flies that eat dead things. Oh, now what? You no longer hear the sound of rain, but it is now pitch black. Someone must have covered the well. Well now, even though you can't see, you may want to get comfortable with the maggots. They may be your only company for a while. So this is where all of our previous lilies go. That, that's, just, that's just a pile of lilies in the corner. Oh no. Two. Dang. Supper. Okay, so we got. Really? Use instructions. No instructions. Configuration. Always dash. Command remember. What's that? Take. Yeah, this is 12. This is Lily number 12. We might as well. About this. I cannot get the shower curtain, but we're gonna go with just basic yarn and toilet paper. Lily is smart and oh hey, there's the next flower. Six flowers are growing here together. All these flowers are covered in bugs. Makes your skin itch. <laughs> yeah, Lily, go. Go, Lily, go. Yep, now we're just here with the really slow. <laughs> Your rope is made of yarn and toilet paper, Lily. We're gonna have to meet Lily 13. Just gotta give it a point. There's the thud. There's the thud. There's the thud. Alternate it. That means there's more alternate ends, though. Tip. 
Maybe have to, if you're stuck, use whatever you have at your disposal. Got it. No, let's not skip the exit. In fact, let's just spam escape button. Okay, yeah, I got it. Just skip to the intro. I don't care about the hot dogs. Uh -oh. What if the person yelling is another lily? What if this is a cycle? What if that's a lily? That, like, used, like, the max amount of ropes so, like, they survived the fall and they're calling for help, to which the new lily hears. And it restarts the cycle and that's why the rope's missing because they used a rope go down and the rope it fell down they probably can't get up that's that's gotta be it I still escape 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 Stop. Back to title. See, so yeah, that's gonna be it for, Will for Lily's Well so far. Probably revisit it, finish it up, but this video is probably getting pretty long. So.